A lot of people out there want to capture their game footage but are on a budget, but they still need accurate and decent results. This is where something like this can come into play. Now, if you're using something like a PlayStation 5, you can actually use the inbuilt recorder on that and then use Share Factory to edit and make your video. But what if you're using something like a Nintendo Switch or a Nintendo Switch 2 that doesn't have that facility? This is where something like this is really, really useful. And obviously it works on other devices too. But this is a V3 capture card from Fine Fine. They did send it to me for free, but I'm still gonna give you my absolute honest opinion of how good it is. But let's um, crack it open and take a look at what's inside the box. We've got a user manual there. And by the way, this thing's got an amazing little secret, which I'll come to in a minute. It's like pretty awesome to be, to be fair, like really awesome. The actual gizmo itself, there it is, nice and compact. It's not any bigger than what it needs to be, which is good. You've got a RGB light on the front there. We'll plug that in and see how that looks. And you've got a little button at the back to change the way those LED lights look and what they do. Um, a USB-C out, you can plug this into your PC to capture the footage. And then you run your console or whatever to the HDMI in and then out to your TV or display. And it's as simple as that. And we've got another box here. What's this? I'm guessing this is gonna be the USB-C lead. Yeah, it is a eh? USB-C lead combined as well. So let's um, go upstairs and plug it in. And here it is all plugged in, ready to use. It took just a few seconds and is genuinely plug and play, absolutely fantastic. And it's got an awesome party trick too, which I'm gonna to come to in a minute. This is absolutely fantastic. Now I am gonna be using this for this video with my Nintendo Switch 2 to demonstrate that party trick at the same time, which is very, very nice indeed. But to wire it up is very straightforward. This is the HDMI lead, which normally went from my Switch 2 to my TV. Basically, this is now gonna go into the HDMI out on the V3 capture card. You then need a second HDMI cable, so you will need an extra HDMI cable to use this, get an ultra high speed one to not have any issues, and you run that from the Switch 2 now into this. So you go from the Switch, into the capture card, then out to your display. And then you just run the USB-C cable that's supplied from the USB-C out into the USB in on your computer and you're absolutely ready to go. Uh, it's got a couple of other neat features as well. You've got this RGB light on the front, which is quite nice. You can actually hold the button down to turn it off completely and just hold it down again for a second or two to turn it on. And then you can just press the button and cycle through various modes you have full on like Knight Rider style things, which is pretty cool. Do like that feature. Uh, just, oh, look at that. I do like that one. But yeah, you got that. But now onto that party trick. Now, Nintendo stuff, particularly the, like the Switch 2, does have HDCP enabled when you first um, turn it on. That basically means they're copy protecting their stuff. So you can't actually get a picture normally when going directly into this. But there's a little trick this, that, that this has. It's got a line in port and a headset port on this. Now basically, if you use something like a, a cocktail stick, just enough to go in that hole on the headset port, you'll feel a little button at the end. Just give that a little press. I'm not gonna do it now, because I don't want the picture to disappear on my telly, but poke it in there, you'll feel it reach the end, and you'll feel a click if you push it a bit further. And that disables the HTCP from something like the Switch 2, so you can record all that lovely footage, which I'll now show. So let's um, see how we go about doing that. Right, so what you're seeing on the screen now is a free program called OBS Studio. You can download that and that is what you're going to use to use the capture card. So OBS Studio is open. I can start recording straight away. So let's take a look at some footage. I'm going to show some Mario Kart. I'm going to show some Bayonetta and some R-Type Final 2. Let's see how they look.
So there it is, the V3 capture card from Fine Fine. Really like it. Fantastic little device, and as you can see, the quality is absolutely top notch. And I'll put a link to this in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, it'd be really cool if you bash that like and subscribe button, it really does help. But most of all, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.